Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will create a painting by working from a photo. In this video, I will show you my approach when using photographs as reference, and I hope you find it useful. I usually start with a photo that has captured my attention in some ways, such as atmosphere, a captivating composition, or it has a story to tell. I've chosen a photo I took in Dresden because I like the angle which I took this picture from. It usually takes me some time to determine which part of the picture that I'll include and the elements I'll focus on, move, remove or simplify. I also pay attention to the direction of light and shadow. For example, in this photo, I decided to focus on the dome building, but I excluded the rest of the structure because I don't feel that it adds to the painting. I also make note that the light is coming from the left and put a note to myself to preserve the white of the paper on the left when I paint. Next, I'll create a preliminary sketch to map out the composition, including the main subject and any important elements that I want to include. This sketch also helps me to determine if I have the necessary skills to paint my chosen subject or I might need to do more sketch studies before trying to do a full painting. This is the time I do a value study as well to make sure I get my tonal values right. When I'm confident I have everything I need, I sketch out the drawing onto the watercolor paper. I don't have a set order in which I paint, it all depends on the painting. But I usually start with a light glaze and move to darker tones as I progress. Although I do observe colors in the photograph, I don't necessarily follow the local colors of the reference photo because I want to convey the emotions and the atmosphere I felt at the time when I took this picture. And I don't want to just replicate the image in front of me.
When I think I have finished with the painting, I usually step away from it and come back to it after a few days. This allows me to spot any mistakes and make necessary adjustments, especially when I haven't got the tonal values right. Apart from that, I try not to do too much so as not to overwork the painting. As I gain more experience working from photographs, I find interpreting photos and determining what I want to include or exclude easier. I've gotten to a point where I'm comfortable with not having to include everything I see in a photo, and I find that it's okay to also leave room for imagination for the viewers. And this is the end result. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more art related content. And as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.